The next thing I want to talk about is an approach to units in special relativity, um, sometimes called SR units, special relativity units. Um, this is a little bit of a pun. Uh, the standard units for the metric system are often called SI units for Système International, uh, International System of Units. Meters, kilograms, seconds are all SI units. Um, so SR for Système Rel Relativistique. Um, Anyway, that's a term that Tom Moore uses in his book. All right, so the idea is to measure distances in light seconds or light years. And that works as follows. So the speed of light denoted C is right around 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. This isn't, isn't exact, it's more like 2.9976 or something. But we'll almost always approximate it as 3 times 10 to the 8th. So that's 300 million meters every second. Super, super fast. So um, one light second Um, is the distance that light travels in one second. So that would just be 3 times 10 to the 8 meters. So this gives us a conversion factor, which tells us how to convert from meters into light seconds. So let's do an example. So suppose that Anastasia runs five miles. Let's convert that length, that distance, five miles, into first kilometers and then into light seconds. Okay, so conversion factor for miles to kilometers is that one mile is about 1.6 kilometers. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to start with five miles. Five miles. And then I'm going to use this conversion factor as follows. Say 1.6 kilometers is one mile. So this conversion factor here in whatever color this is, sort of sort of purple but not quite, is um, one in disguise. What I mean by that is, here's a fraction, the same thing is on top as is on the bottom. They're written in different ways, but they're equivalent. 1.6 kilometers is equivalent to, is equal to, one mile. So this is really, this term in parentheses is just one. So it's going to change the units for this five miles, but it's not going to change um, the, the value or meaning of this. All right. So I have five miles. I can multiply by my conversion factor, the number one in disguise. Let's do that five times 1.6, and I get eight. So I'm still in scientific notation. And that has units of uh, kilometers. Notice uh, that the units cancel. Miles on top, miles on bottom, and so I'm left with kilometers. Okay, so that's a conversion from miles to kilometers. Let's now convert from miles to light seconds. All right, so maybe... I'll write that conversion over here, just a reminder um, that one light second, that's how far light goes in one second. So I'm going to write this as, um, let's see, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters is one second. And I'm using a shorthand here, taking a little bit of a shortcut. I'm just going to say seconds instead of light seconds. So it's understood that um, 
when we give a time like this, it's for a distance, it's in terms of the speed of light. All right, let's see. So I've got meters and kilometers here. I'm gonna to have to do another conversion first. I'll do it this way. So eight kilometers, well, there are 1,000, uh, let's try that again. There are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So the units cancel, and I get 8,000 meters. All right, so now let's go from meters into seconds. So let's see, 8,000 meters, and I'm gonna use this conversion factor that one second, one light second, is the same as three times 10 to the eighth meters. All right, so let's evaluate this. So 8,000 divided by three times 10 to the eight gives me 0. 0.0000, uh, whatever. Let's convert into scientific notation and I have 2.67 times 10 to the minus 5 seconds. So what this means is um, 5 miles is 8 kilometers is equal to the distance light travels in this tiny amount of seconds.